We are in the middle of finding out. Today we found out about the new um, clinical studies that were done and the fact that we're going to be able to use um, before and after photos again. So if you were not here back in the day, we used to use before and after photos all the time and we used to create them ourselves and there was really no compliance over that. They just, you know, you went and some app and you just did it. Um, and so now there's a formal way to create a before and after photo. And some of you might have seen there was one that was put in my team page and then it got shared so many times um, that Facebook decided it was spam and they took it out of my team page. Um, so whatever. So um, they removed it from everywhere that it was on Facebook because they thought that it must be spam because it was shared so many times. So that's kind of another topic we'll talk about in a second. But the new website came out today. You got an email and I posted it on my team page. It is beforeandafter.plexusworldwide.com. And that is on my team page and that's also in your email. If you haven't looked into it, you click on the link and then you give them a before picture, you give them an after picture, you give some personal information such as your gender. Um, I think it asks for your age, your um, customer or ambassador ID, so they kind of validate that you're a real person. Um, so it can be customers or ambassadors, which is awesome. You don't have to be an ambassador to turn in an amazing before and after. You pick the product, products that you are using, either the Triplex or Slim Alone, and then you have to give the dates of the, pic of the pictures, um, essentially what food you are eating, like how many calories you're eating, how often you were working out. And then all that information gets submitted to compliance. They're going to read it over, make sure it's not totally out of the realm of reasonable. And then they will send you back your compliant before and after photo, which is exactly what I was just trying to find because I still have a copy of one on my phone that I wanted to share with y'all. But it's really cool. It's got a before. It's got an after. It says your name. So it would say, you know, Melissa lost 20 pounds over eight weeks. And then it would have my before, it would have my after, and a little bit of information about me, and then a little bit of information about the clinical study that was done. So please hear those words. It was a clinical study. It was not a clinical trial. <coughs> There's a difference. Clinical trials are for pharmaceuticals. They are FDA regulated. They go to clinicaltrial.gov. There, you know, there's a whole set of whatever rules and regulations that go along with clinical trials. We are not FDA approved, so don't ever say that because we're not. We're not supposed to be. Nutritional supplements are not. They are not clinical trials because we're not a pharmaceutical going through the FDA. We did a clinical study. So just make sure that's really clear and that you use that wording. <coughs> Sorry, big as the night. I don't have water up here. I'd be all choked up. Um, and then the only other thing that you can't say, so you, you can't say clinical trial. You can absolutely say there was a clinical study. You cannot say Plexus causes weight loss because it doesn't cause weight loss. And it's just a legal terminology. If you just take Plexus, you're not automatically just going to start shrinking instantaneously. It doesn't cause it. Um, it can help with weight loss. It has been proven to be effective with weight loss, but it doesn't cause it. It's just a wording thing. Just don't use the word causes, um, which I haven't seen any of you do anyway, but I have seen others do it, and people are already starting to say, no, you can't say that. So clinical study, and it helps with, it aids, it whatever, any word pretty much besides causes. We don't use causes. Um, so they're saying, compliance is saying that they're going to be able to turn this information around and give it back to us, like give us a compliant before and after within five to seven days. However, they already received 1,200 before and afters today alone. So odds are, I'm thinking, in my own personal opinion, it's going to take a little longer than five to seven days because with 1,200 already going in today, um, just, you know, realize that they're going to start being visible on Facebook. And as soon as any of us see them, you can put it out in the compliant testimonies Facebook group. Um, and I will approve them as I see them come in. And then any I see, obviously I will put out there as well. And then you can start sharing about weight loss. Um, they actually have a disclaimer that explains the clinical study 
and it talks about the fact that the average person, I believe, lost six and a half pounds in eight weeks in the study, and it was a double blind placebo study, which means essentially in layman's terms, the clinicians that were running the study didn't know who got the real slim and who got the placebo. The people themselves didn't know whether they were getting a real slim or whether they were getting a placebo. So there were people who actually got slim. There were people who got Kool-Aid. I don't know. And they were all told they were given slim. And so then they saw comparatively, if you actually had it, did you actually lose more weight than if you were drinking the Kool-Aid? And people did lose more weight doing the triplex versus doing the fake nothing. That's what that means, the double blind placebo. No one knew, nobody could give false information or say, oh yeah, guess what, you've really got this. Nobody knew. Um, so anyway, that's what that means. So anyway, that's all of that. It's super exciting. I'm so happy that this is coming out. Y'all, it makes a big difference when you can put a before and after photo on Facebook and show weight loss because we have so many people who really are interested in feeling better and losing weight. So this is gonna be huge. Y'all should have big smiles on your face like me and be super excited. So that's all I wanna say. So my sweet friend, Carrie, and her teammate, who I also love, Etta, are going to lead our new ambassador training tonight. Um, Carrie is a gold ambassador up in West Virginia, and I think she'll tell you a little more about that. She and my husband, well, no, or not. Um, <laughs> I remember seeing the screen, this, the slide that said that she and my husband went to school together and so um, she and I connected through Facebook through Plexus and then Etta is her partner in crime up there and a fellow CPA accounting type and so she and I have that in common and I love both of them and they're going to do an awesome job and so I am going to unmute them and turn it over to them all right ladies can you hear me yes uh, yes can you hear me yes you're good to go Okay, let's see if I can do this here. This is my first time sharing. I've practiced, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is new ambassador training. And like Melissa said, I am Carrie. I'm a gold ambassador in Charleston, West Virginia. And I'm gonna start us off. And then Etta, who is my rock star, um, she is a silver ambassador here in Charleston, and then she's going to kind of wrap it up for us. Okay. And this is my first time doing this, so bear with me. <laughs> so first, you need to ask yourself, why did you sign up? Was it to improve your health? Was it to lose weight, to make extra money? Because as you think of these things, your potentials are going to have those exact same reasons. Maybe there's someone who is actually just looking to make some money, some looking to lose weight or just overall health, but chances are good that most of the people that you come across are going to have those same aspirations that you have. So where do you want to go? When you first start out, you need to know your why. You need to have in mind why you did this. Did you do it just to cover the cost of your products? Did you do it to make a little extra money? Were you just wanting to get it at wholesale pricing? Um, you need to know exactly why you're doing this and then take it a step further and make it bigger because there's no reason we all have the exact same potential. There's no reason why if you're going to, you know, take a little bit of time to cover the cost of your products, then just in that same amount of time, you could go even bigger. You could cover a car payment, a house payment. If you have a kid's tuition you want to work for, um, or dream even bigger, go all the way. There's no reason why any of us can't go all the way to the top. So as you think of your why, you want to write it down and keep it close. Um, a lot of us, one of the very first things we do when we establish our why is we create a picture board. It could be something that you have on your refrigerator. It can have be something that is in a pick app on your phone. Um, a lot of people make it like their screensaver on their phone because we all have our phone in front of us all the time. Um, so that's a good, just to kind of keep your mind focused on where you're going and why you're doing it. Um, so you want to keep it close. Um, another important thing to do is to share it with your upline and not just your upline, but even some fellow teammates. Um, often it's good to find somebody that's kind of like a sideline partner. Um, 
I definitely think of Etta as that with me. I mean, I'm her team leader, but I learn as much from Etta as I'm sure I teach her um, because she is incredible. And it's she and I work together to kind of keep each other on, on task, on focus. Um, so share that with your upline or a pacing partner to kind of help keep each other accountable for everything and to remind you why you're doing this. So another thing that's important to start out with is to be a consistent product of the product. Now that doesn't mean that you need to, you know, become an ambassador and say, okay, I'm going to do this for six months or a year and have my story before you can start sharing because just the fact that you believe in these products enough to try them and you know from talking to other people what's possible and how good they are for your health, that is enough. And you start using it and you share your progress along the way. You don't have to wait to a six month, a year mark or anything like that. And in fact, a lot of times, you know, whenever you're very first starting out and you've got that enthusiasm and that excitement, that's a good time to round up some people close to you and say, hey, let's do this together. Um, so you want to be a consistent product of the product because one thing that is definite with Plexus products is you need to be consistent. You can't kind of halfway do it every other day or whatever. You need to be consistent and you need to share that with everybody else. So we need to be doing it too. Um, that includes your water. And that was probably the hardest part for me because I never drank water before Plexus. Um, so you need to be sure that you're drinking your water and, and sharing how everybody else needs to be doing that too with the use of the products. Um, measure and weigh. Most importantly to measure because more often than not you're going to see results as far as inches before you see pounds. And take pictures along the way because that is definitely um, uh, inspirational and can show how far you've come in a short period of time. Um, one thing that you can learn about um, is yeast overgrowth and if you go to YouTube and Google Lori Harrison, she has a lot of information out there about yeast overgrowth. Um, so it's good to be able to explain that to people because that really is getting to the root of everything. Um, you don't have to know everything when you start off. Um, I've been doing this, well I've been working the business probably close to a year now and um, just last week, I think it was last week, we had the Product 101 meeting, and I learned several things from there that even after all this time, I hadn't, I didn't really realize about the products. Um, so you don't have to know everything to start off. It's good to know one or two sentences about each product, what the primary function of that product was, some ingredient information, um, so that you can help direct people to know what they would want to start with, but you don't have to know everything. It comes over time. Um, it's good to know where to find the information. There are so many um, good resources out there. You've got your upline, but, but it's good to research it yourself first. There's a ton of information from dietitians, um, emeralds, jewel, you know, any of the jewels out there um, about product. Um, you can just go to YouTube and look at the different channels. There's tons of videos. There's, of course, our, our back office that has a lot of information. And of course, your team support pages. Um, you can search within that for information as well. Um, so whenever you watch, I, I know in our team page, Melissa's got the product video out there, and that's good. I do that, I save that link and go back kind of as a refresher every once in a while um, to kind of look over things. And then of course, one thing that I didn't mention on here is the success kit. Those new success kits are incredible because they've got all that information just laid out for us. Um, so that's handy to have to look something up really quick when somebody asks you a question. Okay, so how to promote Plexus when you first start. Like I said, a big thing is whenever you first started and you've got that enthusiasm and you're anxiously awaiting your product, um, just to share and let everybody know, hey, I've taken this step, I've heard about these products, and I'm really excited to get going on them. Who wants to join me? Uh, a lot of people get a lot of good response that way. We, on our team, we had a, a, a lady who joined, and I believe that before she even received her kit, she had two customers. Um, and she basically just went out there and did that. Hey, this is, you know, this is the product. This is what, you know, I'm expecting from it. I'm really excited to get started. And she had people that wanted to join her. 
Um, another way to get started good is with sip and sees or launch parties. Those um, you can bring a group of people together. They, you know, stress that they're you're not trying to sell them anything. You know, leave the pocketbook at home. Just come and learn about these products and, and give it a try. And um, they'll get a sample of the pink drink. Um, so launch parties are a good way to get started, and even periodically, even if you're not brand new to, if you've got a group of people that are interested, to bring them together. Social media is a big way that we share, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, that is a good way to get the word out there. You don't want to be, you know, plastering sales information all over the place because we really don't sell, we just share. Um, it's good to keep it personal and just share your successes and what's happened with you along with information about the products and the business. Uh, swag, you see a lot of people wearing the Plexus shirts, the stickers on their car, the Plexus cups. Um, anytime that you can incorporate that, it's great because it's a good um, conversation starter. I even just at my office just carrying around a, a, my cup that says Plexus on it. I've had people to ask me and that's a good way. They initiated the conversation. I'm able to bring up what Plexus is and introduce them to the um, you know what the products are and get the ball going that way and um, business cards we um, should all have business cards there are a lot of um, great resources out there for that Etsy or the Plexus back office or you could even make your own so that way whenever you do run into somebody and you've got on a Plexus shirt and they start asking you questions about it you can kind of give them a brief bit of information and then hand off your card to them so that you all can connect later on. Sharing naturally, once you get going on these products, that's a no-brainer. It's not hard at all because you love it so much that you just tell everybody about it. And that's what makes us different is that we are more sharing than selling. And then network with others. Um, there's a lot of ways that we connect with other people, be it through our kids' sports or schools or business functions. Just always share, you know, your great stories and what you love about the products, any opportunity that you get. And then tips for prospecting. One of the first things, and you'll find this in your success kit, is your list of 100, and that's your friends list. And it'll seem, you know, you look at that and you think, oh, 100 people, you know, how am I going to come up with 100 people? But if you go through each of those sections, you know, friends, relatives, acquaintances, then you will see how easily you can come up with 100 people. So you want to go for the easy business first. Whenever you're telling your friends about it, your family about it, people that you're closest to, that will, sorry, that went forward, <laughs> that will get you going really quickly because it will be like a group you all can do it together like I mentioned before share versus sell we don't you know we don't want to come across as we're trying to sell these products we're offering hope and we just want to share what they're capable of and people are going to want to jump on board and whenever they do and they they try the products then the products will sell themselves so connect with people anytime you can, like I mentioned before, different acquaintances that you have, your kids, um, any opportunity that you get to connect with people and expand your network will help you. Overcome objections within your story. Um, you're going to have a lot of people that, well, I tried this and it didn't, you know, it didn't work, and they're going to try to, you know, knock you down in a way. Um, but you, you have, you know, your belief in you and what you've experienced with the products that you're able to overcome those objections. Don't let it get you down. And more often than not, over time, those people will, will see that it truly is working with you and they, they will come back to you and want to know more information. Um, it takes an average of seven exposures before a decision is made. A lot of people, you know, they'll go out there and they'll post Facebook post and Ed is going to cover more on the Facebook posting but 
just to touch on it, a lot of people I hear say, okay, well, like for three days now I've posted and nobody's liked it, nobody's commenting on it. But a lot of times that doesn't, you're planting seeds. That doesn't mean just because you don't, you know, you can't look at your Facebook and see, you know, 20 people like this or I've got five comments. That doesn't mean that people didn't read it and they're not putting it into mind what you're saying. They're going to continue to watch. They're going to continue to read. You've piqued their interest. You've planted the seeds. And over time, they're going to see and that you're, you know, this is a real thing. It's not just some fly by night thing and they will contact you at some point. Um, and then whenever you're talking with people, don't be afraid to ask for the sale. Whenever you're talking to someone and you know, they're interested, you know, they want to do it. You've answered all their questions. Then there's nothing wrong with saying, you know, so uh, where would you like to start? How can we get you going on this? Because you know, it's going to do great things for them. So don't be afraid to ask for the sale. Compensation. Plexus has one of the best compensation plans out there, as far as I can tell. Um, and I've, I have experience in other multi-level marketing, and nothing compares to the way Plexus compensates there and treats their ambassadors. Um, it's first go for the Plexus promotions to go silver. And like I said, when you first start, grab a few friends because we can all think of three people right off the top of our heads that could benefit from Plexus. So all it takes is those first three people and you go silver. So you'll get $100 with three commission qualified ambassadors as your first bonus. And then it's not at all impossible to go to the start goal promotions where your promotions are doubled in the first 30 days if you rank beyond silver into gold within your first 30 days. Um, PV is your personal volume and of course the first $100 um, is not included as far as calculating your commissions but 100 to 499 is 15% and then 500 is and up is 25% on everything not just from 500 up but on everything that's one thing that people sometimes get confused on and I often remind people at the end of the month, if you're really close, that's the huge difference. If you're really close, say you've got a PV of $475, it's well worth it to you know, order another bottle of vitamins or something like that for yourself because it's a big difference. You're talking if you're at $499, you'll make just right below $60 commission, whereas if you're at $500, you're going to make $100 commission. Um, so it's... There's definitely a lot to be gained on getting your personal volume up. Then you're also going to get business building bonuses whenever you sign people. 50% um, of the welcome patch you keep, excuse me, goes to the first upline position and then it continues from there. Okay. Sorry, it's slipping again. And now Ed is going to take over from this part um, and talk to you a little bit, starting with Facebook tips. So there you go, Edda. All right. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, as I said, I'm Edda Keeney. I am a silver ambassador. Um, I'm from Charleston, West Virginia, and I am an accountant. So I am not into sales. I'm not. So if you make can do it, trust me, the girl who plays with Excel sheets and numbers can do this. All right, first I'm going to start out with Facebook tips, groups and team pages. Um, if you're on this call, then you more than likely know that about Melissa's um, Plexus with a Purpose. And more than likely, if uh, your upline will have a page, you need to be on those pages and you need to be active on those pages. You need to make them as your favorites. So that way, anytime a post is on there, you'll get a notification and you can see what the post was. Engage on that post. Put comments on there. Ask questions on that post if you don't understand, but engage, be a part of the page. Another great tip tool we have is the compliant testimonies. Melissa runs this for us so that way we can make compliant posts on Facebook because we do not want to put non-compliant posts out there. So you want to make sure that you're posting compliant testimonies and this page has those on there. So all you can do is go on this. If, you're one, if you see a free post about headaches, you're like, oh, let's see if I can find something on here. You can search for it and find the testimony and copy it and paste it to your 
Facebook and then post it and it's all right there for you. You also want to use on our team pages the magnifying glass. This is how you search. If you seen last week we post about some some topic that you thought, oh I didn't need that, but now you do, you can search for that and it will bring up any post that is associated with that topic. If you want to look up um, diamond, you can search diamond and it will bring up any post that is associated to the word diamond. We also have the team file pages where Melissa posts and your uplines will post different documents, different tips, different things are all right there. That is there for you to use and is a great tool for you. That way it helps you learn more and then you can navigate better in the team pages. The next one is effective and non-effective posting. You want to make your post personal. You don't want to be all salesy. You want to post, you want to make them personal. You want to change the wording up and add some personal details to the post. When you make them personal, an example may be when you post about the, the new product edge, you want to add a few lines about how great and how much more energy you have, how you can keep up with your kids. You can focus more on a big project done at work. And so on. There's other, there's all kinds of numerous things where you can take a post and make it personal. You want to add tidbits into what it has done for you. So that way when your friends see, hey, this is working for her, they'll take notice and they'll be like, maybe I should really look into this. But when you post things that don't have anything personal, you're just posting what this person who lives in California says, that they have no clue who the person is, they're not going to really look at that. You need to add personal detail as to hey this is working we need to really look into this it gives the friend more of a perspective of someone they know is working uh, you want to make Colexis friends it's a great way to see more posts your friends are not going to have the same friends that I have that you have so when you have a Colexis network of friends you see their posts so you can use those posts and make them your own. You can copy them and paste them, save the picture, and post it as your own. That way, you are getting more of a network of posts. Not We, we, we want to keep them compliant, so you want to make sure that you're not posting about certain diseases or different things. But you need to, this will give you a whole new network of posts when you make Polexis friends. You want to stay away from the billboard ads. You yourself do not want to scroll through Facebook and see all kinds of billboard ads because I know when my friends are posting it for their network marketing, I'm just scrolling through. I do not want to just see billboard ads. So you want to make them personal. That goes back to the personal. You want to make them to where they grab attention. They're like, hey, this really does work. You want to post pictures of yourself with the products. So that way it gives more of a perspective of it being personal, it being you, and not just you're out selling this product. Because we're not selling, we're sharing. You're sharing what it has done for you, what it has done for your family, what it has done for your friends. You wanna stay away from the share button. The share button, all it's doing is directing that person back to the person you shared the ad for. When you share and they click on it, it goes back to the person that the, you originally shared it from. So you're not getting anything out of this. If you like the ad and you wanna use the post, what you would do is you would copy and paste it and make it your own. Add in your wording, change the picture up, make any comments on there, but you do not want to share. Sharing, all it does is directs the person who clicked on it back to the person that you originally shared it from. You do not want to put your Facebook, your website. When you do a Facebook post, you do not want to put your website out there. Your website is something that you want to send to someone in a private message or after you've made that connection. We're in, the, in this business. We need to make a connection with our customer. We got to see what their goals are. We want to direct them towards the products that will help them and what, what was the best option for them to reach their goals. If you just give them the website with no direction or knowledge, they're going to become overwhelmed and more than likely they're not going to order. You want to private message them. You want to walk them through what the best products are for the goals that they have. If they want to weight loss, if they're wanting to lower their cholesterol, if they can't sleep, 
you need to know what products to tell them to look at. And then you want to direct them on the best bundle that they can get because some of our products come in better price savings as a bundle. So you want to be able to tell them what they need to do to buy and how to buy. So that way they can easily go in, purchase the product and be done and not have to navigate the whole website, get overwhelmed with all. I mean, we only have 15 products, but they can get easily overwhelmed just by going in there and clicking on things. So you want to be able to direct them. You want to be able to be that communication with them and help them order and tell them what to order. Your posts need to reflect your energy and your passion. You need to be excited and full of passion for what you're posting, both for your Plexus posts and your personal posts. Would you want to message someone and talk to them if they were just humdrum and not excited about life? Be excited for what Plexus has done for you. Share why it's your passion. If you don't convey the excitement and passion, your friends are not going to believe that this is a life-changing opportunity for them. They're just going to scroll right on past you. Lastly, you want to save the drama for your mama. Do not post on social media about your drama. That is something your friends do not want to see, and it will not help you build your business. I understand you may have issues with coworkers, neighbors, exes, and whoever else, but when you post negative things and drama-filled posts, that only reflects badly on you. And you want to keep your social media as positive and uplifting as possible. You want others to say, hey girl, that seems like a really happy person that has it together. Maybe I should look into this Plexus stuff. Also, you want to share constantly every day. I cannot stress that enough. Every day. If you are not posting every day, you are missing out. Be consistent. You are showing everyone that you are passionate about Plexus. Maybe I should really look into this. Also, not all your friends see your posts, so don't think that everybody sees them because they're not. If you're busy, get an app. That way it will post for you. Buffer or Tiny Torch are two that I know several people use. I personally, well, I've used them both. Um, lately, I have been extremely busy. I have been working a lot of hours at my nine to five job with an audit. I've been working my Plexus business, and with school starting, our schedule is totally haywire. But I still post daily because I have Buffer, and I set up my post to automatically post on the, in the morning and in the evening. And then throughout the day, I will randomly go in and comment and do different things. I'm not really supposed to at work, so shh, keep that between us. So when you're rushing out the door at 6 a.m. in the morning and you think, oh, I didn't do my Plexus post, it's all good. You already got it in your buffer. It's all set to go. You're good. So that way you have all your posts in there. You're still doing it every day. Life happens. Trust me, this last two weeks, life has happened. I have been out of the house more than I have been home. But it will, it, you need to get your post out there every single day. I cannot stress that enough. Every day. All right. So, what do you say? Well, first you need to connect with these people. You need to connect with them. You need to find out how they're doing. You don't just start talking Plexus. You need to check on them. How are they doing? If they just came back on vacation, you ask them, how was vacation? I love the pictures. How was the trip? How did you do this? First day of school is going on right now across the country. Everywhere I post, I see people's first day of school pictures. You need to tell them, little Johnny is so cute on first day of school. I can't believe he's so big. You go in and you just look at their pictures and you send them messages. You comment on them, but you've got to be engaging with them. You've got to ask, how are they adjusting to high school? How's middle school going? Kindergarten. There's, I have kids in all grades going and I have reached out to all of them. How are they doing at school? Are they adjusting the middle school world? You need to be connecting with them, not just by Alexis, but connecting with them in their personal life. If you have information, take notes on them. Have a sheet of paper where you take notes and be like, oh, so-and-so's done this, this, and this. And then that way, later on, you can comment back to them and ask them. That way you can strike up a conversation like, hey, how'd it go at the fair last week? Was it hot? Did you eat too much? Just strike up any conversation that you can get with them. It don't matter what it's about. Just strike up a conversation. 
Find out why they're asking about Plexus. Find out what their health goals are. What, they, what are they trying to achieve by Plexus? Are they trying to lose weight? Are they trying to sleep better? Whatever, you need to find out why they're asking. That way you can direct them to the right products. If, you also have to remember, this is a health and wellness product. It's not strictly weight loss. 90% of the people who contact me are for weight loss. And I find out then their weight issues are because of other issues. So you got to kind of dig into there to find out what their issues are. And then you can say, oh, well, the triplex would work best for you. Let's add the Mega X since you're having this issue. Well, let's add the Edge since you don't do this. you got to dig in and find out what their issues are and how they can best be suited for the products. Another thing, do not puke plexus. The less you share, the better. They do not want to read a forever long paragraph. You need to address their questions and concerns in as little as possible. Provide them the answers they want to know right then. And don't give them a five-minute paragraph that they're not going to read it. I'm going to tell you because I ain't going to read it, so they're not going to read it. They don't. People who don't have time to sit down and read a five-minute paragraph. You're just going to give them what they need to know in as little as possible. And always end your response with a question. That helps them keep the conversation going forward and you will learn more about them and how you can better help them. Because that's what we're here to. We're here to serve them. Like I said earlier, you just don't need to send them to your website. Help them find the products that will help them with their budget and their health goals and walk them through the purchase of the products. You wanna to talk to them about price at a daily rate, not a monthly. Three to four dollars a day sounds a lot better than $134. When you tell them $134, that totally overwhelms them. They are automatically cannot afford it. But when you say it costs you three to four dollars a day, that seems pretty reasonable. And they can cut out a fancy coffee or something to pay for it. But when you say upfront $134, they're thinking there is no way I can afford this. Use your upline or your closest gold or anyone above you or your sign line even for a three-way call or message. This helps with the validation. When they hear from someone else what has been done for them, it really helps they are not just hearing it from you, but from someone else that also believes in the products and has had results. Next. Did I miss a slide? Go back. Oh, I'm the green. Okay. I was like, did I miss something? Okay. People do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. That is connection. You need to be thoughtful and a caring person. Show interest. Ask questions. Not just polexis, but everyday life. You, that's what I was saying earlier. I have messaged so many people this week asking how their kids adjusted to high school, middle school, kindergarten, and preschool. I've offered prayers for the ones that are struggling. I've congratulated the ones that made sport teams. And I have just went through my friends list and I have just reached out to so many, none of them about Plexus, but just checking in and showing them that I actually care about them and their family. <sighs> I got to take a water break, sorry. All right, those that go up, those that show up, go up. I cannot talk enough about events. You need to attend events every time possible. Live local meetings and trainings, opportunity meetings, Super Saturday and convention, and even the Zoom meetings we have every week. I have already started planning for convention because I will be there. I've already marked Super Saturday on my calendar because I'm going there too. I attend all local events. There's one to end of this month here in Charleston, which never happens, but I will be at it also. I attend all Zoom meetings every week. These are important for you to grow your business. Not only will you learn more and gain confidence, but you will leave so motivated and ready to work your business. There is something about attending live events that is like no other. If you have not attended a live event, I encourage you to find one and go. I have attended some great training sessions that I have made time for that I really didn't have 
time for, but I made the time and I went and I was so rewarded for it. I learned so much and was able to refocus. I am really big on attending events and I encourage everyone on my team to get there in any way possible. I will drive them or whatever I have to do, I will get them there. But you need to attend everything you can, either live or on Zoom. We have weekly Zoom calls every Monday night, so you need to schedule your time so you can be on these calls. They are so beneficial and they will help you grow your business. We also have travel opportunities. The Silver Star trip is an earned trip, uh, an earned trip which it reward, Plexus will reward two ambassadors who have helped the most team members on their levels one through four reach the rank of silver with a special trip to the home office in Scottsdale, Arizona. With this trip, you will earn a $300 spending cash, dinner with Plexus, Plexus executive, Plexus swag, tours of the headquarters and warehouse, and so much more. I see pictures of these trips and they are just amazing. The convention, it happens every year in June, and the location for that is announced at Super Saturday in January, and it is open to anyone and everyone. So I suggest you start saving for this now, because it's June of next year. You do not want to miss this. I went this past year to my first one, and it is amazing. It's a great time, and it will change your business. Imagine being there with 12,000 Plexus ambassadors that love Plexus just like you do, and you meet so many people and connect with so many people on your team and not your team. I have added so many Plexus friends just from convention that I've met, and we've connected and we've shared posts, we've shared tips, we've shared ideas. It's just an amazing event, and it can really benefit your business, and it will help you learn so much. The Super Saturday is coming up in January, and it is also open to everyone. And I suggest that when it opens, you register, because last year, some of the cities got sold out. So I suggest when it comes open, you find your closest city, and you register, and you get there. Like this past January is when they released the new Ambassador Training Kit, and they went through the training kit, and everyone there got one. And it is amazing. Because those of us who went had already been ambassadors, we didn't have the new kit. So those who attended got the kit, got training on the kit, and it was amazing. It's an amazing experience. So I suggest Super Saturday, it comes in January 2017, you need to be there. Hawaii is an earned trip for our jewels, which is our emeralds, sapphires, and diamonds. It takes place in September, and although I haven't earned a trip yet, the pictures I see from it are amazing. I have been to Hawaii, but I have not earned this trip. Our very own Melissa Kramer has earned this trip, and she'll be going in September, so I'm looking forward to seeing her pictures, and I'm sure I'll be jealous, but we are all going to earn this trip one day. We're all going to go with her. And just this is a goal for anyone working the business. Anyone working this business sees this trip, and they want it. They want this trip. It's for you and a guest to go to Hawaii. It is an amazing trip. This year, they also added in a diamond trip preceding the Hawaii trip, where the diamonds will go to California before they fly to Hawaii, which is another added bonus, which is just amazing. All right, the leaders retreat is coming up in October, and this is another earned trip. This trip, anyone can earn. You just have to work to earn it. This year is in Texas. To earn this trip, you have there's a contest from June, July, and August in which you need to have at least 750 points to get the trip. Once you get to 750 points, there's other prizes you can win as you go up in points. You can earn it from your, your PV, customers, and new ambassadors. Again, amazing trip in which Plexus goes all out and spoils us. And on top of all that, there are some corporate contests throughout the year that Plexus will offer for additional prizes and caches that they will email us about. Hey, Etta. Dear. I'm going to cut you off, girl. Um, so I think we're going to hold the rest because it's getting late. Y'all are awesome. I love every minute. And I love how you say Plexus. I wish I could, like, record that and just hear it over and over again. Right. Hey, I have had some extra slim this week because I'm in mid-audit and I have been working 16 hour days. <laughs> But you've got like this extra syllable in there that I don't have. I'm going to have to practice that <laughs> so I can add the extra West Virginia syllable into Plexus. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I love it. But I want to make sure that we stay kind of, you know, reasonable on time. So we'll do the rest of this in another um, training in the future. Y'all are awesome. Um, Carrie, if you can undo the, um, yeah, that.